It's nice outside. Let's put this thing in the wind and roll down the highway with it. Let's do it. Two o'clock in the morning, there are 900 miles, 14 hour drive. The tow haul button. Touch the brake one time. Grab the gear. And if we have to, I can touch it one more time. Oh, and I'm using it to brake. Don't just let it scream away. And then if it gets way up there and you're revving 4,000, for real, hit tow haul and shut it off. You don't need to rev the crap out of your engine trying to slow it down, but you can benefit by using it moderately. Let's grab us some 339 fuel. We just picked this up. We're getting ready to get on the big road. 1,100 miles to go. We are halfway through the entire trip. So with the calculations, it should kick off at about 17 gallons. Whenever we're trying to fill it up and top it all the way off, I do run it on the first click. I have a lot less foam. I wanna know what our mileage is, so I'm gonna fill it all the way up to the top. So we wanna keep as much foam as we can out of there. Damn, that's a crown big. Let's fill her up. Oh my goodness, yeah, we're way over. We didn't get very good mileage on that trip. 18.8, so we got hurt a little bit on that tank. Got 268.5 miles, 18.881 comes to okay so that last leg was a little lower we might have to budget 14 miles a gallon so this truck with that trailer with nothing on it budget 14 even though we did a little bit of driving with it on but 200 miles of it was not 14.2 and it showed 14.8 you know stock calibration with this readout is fairly accurate so let's reset that too and then fire it up and let's roll downshifts maybe i'll ease my way all the way to the floor i mean that's a big hill there's no way it's gonna downshift once it downshifts i'm gonna go all the way to the floor i'm on the floor okay i'm on the floor on the floor on the floor let's go 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 still on the floor oh good one good one good one still on the floor we're gonna go on the floor make it count okay that's enough uh we made it to the top of the hill now i'm going too fast to go down that's why i shouldn't do that kind of stuff but if it's gonna have to work and downshift and lug itself anyways to get up that hill, I mean, you didn't have to hit it that hard to go on the floor though, no way at all. This is uh, thinking more in the future towards what we're gonna see when we pop the hood and we do the hillbilly head gasket test. And then we think backwards on them sketchy deck surfaces that we're gambling on right now. And then you're gonna think about me pulling this truck and driving it to the, on the floor going up that hill in South Carolina. Yeah, that's my goal. And then after you're done doing that, you're gonna think, man, why don't we just have him do my truck? Every single one of us is driving to the scene of where we're gonna break down at. The faster parts that you put on it will get you to the breakdown scenario faster. So what do you wanna do? Welcome to Georgia, y'all. I probably saw 17 cars on the side of the road on the way here directly after I hit a bump so big I thought I was about to pull over. I would hit a BAM! Oh my God! And then I'd look up and there'd be two cars on the side of the road with five freaking tires. Mm -hmm. That happened about 17 times on the way here. It's gonna be a long drive. It's gonna be a long drive. In any other city in the world. It's like 120 miles of stoplights there is no interstate around it's one that of town the largest towns in south carolina that doesn't have an interstate running through it julie has been watching our temperatures okay you just read them to us julie is 197 and oil is 197. oh they're even they're even right now coolant fluctuates pretty good with the acceleration up a hill but then it comes right back down like almost fast so we got good transference of heat and the highest we've seen is 212. yeah all right, so we haven't been high enough for the stock Ford fan clutch to engage yet. Very possible that it could get to 218 down there and it will not engage. We don't have all this exhaust, so you're just here in the engine. I mean, I'm on the floor right now. I'm on the floor. We're at 206 and 201. So that hard acceleration that we just did heated us up from where? 197. From 197 to 206. I and mean, I was on the floor with, uh, I wonder what, I don't know what I'm weighing, but we got this whole Super Duty behind us. And that tilt trailer that's pretty heavy too. It is 
road is loaded with stop lights. I'm using tow haul. I don't really like tow haul on the interstate. This stop and go stuff, tow haul is very good for that stuff. If you're not in a hurry. Luckily that light went green. I've been driving all of these as if I'm gonna have to stop at every stoplight. Half of them I do have to stop at. We're north of Atlanta and the traffic that they talk about. Traffic backed up everywhere, both sides of the road. Everybody showed up. We're all here at the party. I'm thinking that Ron was a little, I don't know if you wanna say a nerve, about how we put together this truck I'm driving right now. That we kinda just ghetto cobbled it together. Definitely surprised. I'm just ghetto burgering it on there. We're just going through some stop and go traffic here in Atlanta. This was supposed to be a test. Does everything have to be perfect? Do we have to go balls to the wall? This base engine on a six liter is very, very strong. As far as mains and cylinder walls wearing out and stuff like that, if we don't have any massive failure or stuff like that, they're pretty freaking stout. They're definitely half a million mile engines. This one has 217,000 on it. I dropped a set of lifters in it and let her eat. Let's go. Same bearings and everything. I exposed the mains, redid the bed plate on this little idea we had. Let's just finish this white dually and we'll just drive it to South Carolina. I call that foot and mouth syndrome. That's what I call that. I mean, oh my God. Everybody has nice freaking crap. Every freaking way. That new Super Duty right here. Scared to pass me. I kind of drive all over the place. So we're stopped. Chattanooga, Choo Choo, Tennessee. Yeah, they're tight. Been some bumpy roads. We got some real bumpy roads to go to. The smoothest part actually was just now. <laughs> so now we got the real crap road to go. Let's see what kind of mileage we get. This a full drive with a Super Duty on the back. Stock tuning. I'm gonna let it run all the way till uh, right before the fuel starts falling in the tank. Let's go ahead and check the oil. I just pulled it out of the hotel to see if it was had oil on it. We're at a fuel stop right now. So might as well actually check it. My little contraption, that little bar right there holds good. Okay, yeah, we've been kind of working it. Hillbilly head gasket test. Oh yeah. Oh look, coolant went up. It's because it's hot. I let it run for a little while, but I didn't even look at the temperature because you know, we're not really monitoring anything on here. We're just driving it as if a customer would drive it that doesn't have all kinds of edge tuning monitor stuff going on. Remember we clear coated it. <laughs> Line. Oh, that's a piece of grease. I wiped grease all over the place. I needed to wipe it off my finger when we looped up everything here. Oh, so everything looks good down here. How about back here? Okay, it's uh, three quarters of the way up on the stick, right in the middle of my finger. Yep, it's taking too long. This pump is just about too fast. This is a truck stop, so they got a high pressure behind this nozzle here. Very foamy coming out of there. And don't touch the nozzle to the foam inside of the fuel tank, because that's how like, you don't know where this nozzle is. <laughs> we haven't seen so much of it lately, but there used to be tanks with algae in them. And then that's a good way to spread your contaminant. We got her full. $76 bill. Okay, 21.209 gallons. 250.1. Okay, so we're showing 11.79. Okay, almost 12. That is all loaded, all with this. 250.1. The loaded miles actually about got closer. 1179.6 of a mile per gallon. Go ahead and reset that. While we're sitting here, engine ain't even started. 250 miles down in the old white dually. She's so far is actually kind of loving life. Let's just burn another freaking tank of fuel out of this old girl. We're about to Pullman Eagle, 199 and 199. They're even. 204 and 201. 
kind of pushing it. I'm accelerating. Oh, oh, it grabbed a gear. Really? Now we're at 206 and 203. It'll actually build more now. Build a boost and overdrive, torque converter lock. And watch it though. He's going to come on too hard. I'm actually going to back out of it. 208 and 204. This would be the biggest climb of the whole drive. Right here. It's also 46 degrees out. 208 and 206. The ears are popping. But at this point, we'd have a Murray fan clutch locking up right now. We put the clutch that was on it, so it's probably four. If we hit 218, we should hear this fan lock up, I hope. 210 and 210. It should be heating up now. 212. But they're staying spot on. 212 and 212. I'm over three quarters of the way in the pedal. It's on the verge of downshifting, but it ain't got really much up. Oh, there it just went. 213 and 213. Yeah, so it ain't even gonna heat up. All right, so I guess moral of the story is we're all good. Here's our outside temperature. One minute. One floor. One floor. Uh, okay, no, 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 I don't wanna change that. Solid weather. I got us up to 217. Two, oh, we're almost there. Okay, I need a little bit more. 219. We just hit 219, 217. Oh no, keep watching, keep on it, keep watching, keep watching. 222. Oh no, we're over here. 222. No yeah, I don't hear the fan. No fan. Oh, oil just hit 221. Coolant's still at 222. Uh, 224. No fan. Okay, we're out of it. That's too hot. That's Two too hot. Okay, that fan needs to come out. Now this is why I pushed the Murray fan clutch. Because it didn't kick on at 208. I saw it didn't kick on at 208. Now it didn't kick on at 218, which means that even the Ford one finally took a crap as I'm climbing Mont Eagle right now. So at the most non-opportunistic time, we find out that it does not kick on at 218. I was like in it. I mean, I was on the floor. About as heavy as this truck should be going up a mountain. So, I mean, I really was kind of beating the sleeves off of it. I'm still going up the hill. I don't smell coolant. How about a hillbilly head gasket test right there? I did turn my four ways oh, on. Oil just hit 226. Okay. Coolant staying at 224. 226 on oil. My oh, get 226 coolant. Went up? Yep. Yeah. Okay, there. We're going, we're going fast enough to not have the hazards on. Oh, 228. Oh, it's getting warm. Oh no. Should we turn the heat on? <laughs> it's your call. We're at the top. We're at Mont Eagle. We pulled it. Now, granted, that was a wide open throttle pull, so with no fan clutch. So something must be somewhat happy because we made it up without overheating with no fan. But it's not something that we really want to be in the habit of doing. What's our numbers right now? 226 and 228. Okay. We're at the top. So that's fine. This is a time right now you definitely do not want to shut your truck off. Like get up here to the top of the hill and shut the truck off. I've got this thing almost boiling. 224 and 228. Guys, oh, she's two, warmed up. 222, 226. Got her warmed up now. Oh, and he just turned on the heat. That dropped it to 219 quick. Did it really? Yeah. So it'll start dropping 217 and 224. If Back down to 210 and 221. Drop that fast. It went all the way to 226 and down to 210, just like that. Bam, 208 bam. now. Oil's finally starting to drop. Oil takes longer to drop than cooling. That's our Mont Eagle pull. Don't do it without a fan clutch. Bottom of Mont Eagle on the west side is pretty flat, pretty nice and easy. Where are we at? 190 and 190. <laughs> there you go. Of oh, 192. It's been mild. America's in a traffic jam. This is all I'm gonna bore you with. We're in Nashville. I don't hear a heartbeat or banjos or the bass drum or nothing like that. I am driving horribly slow. We just went over some bumps on here that are so freaking bad. I swear it seems like every time we go over one there's always a car there with sitting on the shoulder. We just had a couple more of them. 
me and Julie have been driving the highways for a long time, for 12, 13 years. So we saw a lot of seasons change. And something about this year, potholes are killing it. I mean, we're rolling away. I'm completely off the pedal. I'm not touching it at all. We've been rolling about 58. Now, I could go faster, but it beats the hell out of the truck because some of these bumps are horrible. I said I'm off the pedal. I forgot I got cruising. Just miss a massive monstrosity that I thought the wheel came off. And look, here they go. Something on the driver. Bam, back driver, yep. Oh, back there's driver, another one. there's another one, back driver, there's a, uh, yeah. but the road is so deceiving. It looks so good right now, nice asphalt smooth, and then right when you get going and you think it's all good, wham, it's the whole. He don't give a damn, a lot of people just don't give a damn, that bang right through. Normally the bridges are at the bottom of the hills, so I slow down because it's normally rough and bumpy as hell, and so now I gotta lay into the pedal, work the crap out of it, yeah, I got socks on. I can feel the pedal more if you drive with socks on. You can actually feel into the truck. But it causes me to work it a little more. Here, look, I'm in it. I'm in it. Yeah, okay, we're rolling. Oh, see? Oh, there's some. Oh. Tell me you felt that. So these roads have literally been so freaking horrible that I've, I've been putting around like I'm literally driving on the back roads at the farm. Just trying to take it easy. Some of these bridges, some of this stuff, they're so rough that I just kick the hazards on. And then we can bang it back up to speed. I'm not worried about like getting it up to speed or slowing it down. I'm worried about breaking ball joints and crap. Breaking because of they're banging so damn much. Actually, this truck is doing pretty good i'm loving it it's it's working i mean we're getting past right now look i could downshift one gear but i don't really want to remember we got the truck on the back and we got the truck on the back remember that i don't want to go bouncing that around i ain't trying to run speed rate like this guy's doing well that looks like a brand new freaking truck actually this is a long run right here got 100 miles to him we're burning more fuel that's for sure this is where we fueled up last so we're gonna get some numbers All right, I've had enough time to go in and prepay. Hell yeah, looks good. Look at this guy right here. He just honked at me. Oh, you are about to see an altercation. Did you really just pull yourself right up in here where you can't get through? I couldn't, I can't swing. swing. No, what you're saying is that you got yourself in a predicament that you can't get yourself out of without me moving. No, I'm just kidding. Man, was that too mean? Ah, we got a hot yes start. Look, he got, he drove up there. I've been parked here for a good long minute. We got a whole big parking lot over here. I can't let him just be a, he's a horizon driver. There he goes. He's gone. Thank you very much. He should have been a little better to know this whole big parking lot is open in front of us. There is like crap ton loads of room in front of us to drive around. There's nobody even here. And he come out honking his horn because he couldn't get through because he decided he wanted to. You are out of your mind if you think that I'm not going to come over there and be like, really? I mean, Mr. Professional Driver there figures. But just a, I hate to say it, surrounded by idiots. All right, let's get back to it. Well, that freaking sucked. I waited too long. It kicked off. We prepaid 200. 
and it turned off. I didn't get to top it off. We're inside, it timed out. I'm only telling you this because when I come back here, that's gonna start over and it's only gonna have maybe four is all we're gonna have. So add 27.553 to this number. <laughs> Staring at how kind of nasty it freaking looks. Okay, so we're 3.373 plus 27.553. 112 dollar bill 30.926 it said we got 12.2 we went 356.2 all right that's 11.5 that means 11 and a half miles a gallon here on the screen it said 12.2 so it went a little bit farther apart we're seven tenths of a mile per gallon away from each other okay here that's the most damaged part on a strap down super duty is that brake line right there so make sure you can go under that brake line go under here on the bottom almost session the drag wash this drive is miserable actually well it's miserable if we're in a hurry we'll just say that it's not so bad if you do 53 <laughs> this roads otherwise i just feel like i'm beating everything up are they doing it Yep, yeah, they're fixing it. Yeah, and all that talking we're doing about busting tires, they're out there doing it right now. Good job, guys. Right Good job. In case you're wondering, we are back in Missouri. Yeah, they're out there throwing asphalt in the holes in the road right now. That's pretty cool. Wow, my God. Check engine light's still on, but we made it. We could coast from here. Well, we made it back locally. Yeah.